but you don't have to put it in your top 20 even. That's how deep the Malaysian food iceberg is, bro. Okay, people, back again with another one. Bong Kakat reacts. Some Malaysian content, light content for the weekend. I want to react to Greg Larkombe. Um, I don't know why I always react to this guy because <laughs> he always comes up on the timeline. But there's an interesting video where he's going to rank all the Malaysian dishes that he's tried. Okay, this is from three months ago, but it's fine. And yeah, we're going to assess the ranking. I'm not saying I've tried every Malaysian food. I haven't myself either. But let's see what he has to say. I think he, he's lived here 12 years. So yeah, he's practically Malaysian. Food that I've tried so far in my daily series. Do you agree with this list? And which thing do you think will be number one? At number 16, we've got Krabu Bronok. I just... Yeah, I've, I've never eaten that. Krabu Bronok. Krabu Bronok, I've, I've never eaten that. Okay. Did not really get on with this dish. This is the sea cucumber salad. I found the text. So he started with 16. Sure, very strange. That was a four out of 10. At number 15, we have the roti tissue, which I had the other day in K. I'm going to pause and, and then say what I think and then see what he thinks, right? That's how we're going to do this. Roti tissue is too sweet. It's all right. I, I haven't had roti tissue in, roti tissue in like, I don't know, maybe a, more than a decade, bro. It's too sweet. KL, it was nice, but it was very, very sweet and just a little bit too much for me. I told y'all, it's too sweet. 7 out of 10. At number 7 out of 10 is a decent score for roti tissue, okay? 14, we have the banana leaf veg... Banana leaf veggie curry. Banana leaf is I. I'm... I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan. 7 is decent. It's a decent rating. It's never as good as... Nasi, nasi ganda is better, bro. Nasi ganda is... I don't mean to compare foods. I just prefer nasi ganda, bro. However, maybe it's because I haven't tasted the... But however, banana leaf has that. What, what do you call that? I um, mean, I don't know what the English... Is this this bitter, bitter gourd? It's, it's bitter gourd, I think. It has... Yo, the bitter gourd is lit, bro. The, 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 when they fry it, you know, with some light... I don't know. A light batter. The bitter gourd... Ooh. If, if, they, they, if, they, if they do that right, though... It's lit, bro. Yeah. Veggie curry that I had in KL also the other day. Again, nice, just nothing spectacular. A seven is decent for banana leaf. Makes sense. But, but he also rated roti tissue seven, though. I don't know. I would think banana leaf should be higher on that list. Higher rating than roti tissue. By the way, if you don't know what roti... Okay, I, I need to show y'all. This is roti tissue, bro. Yeah, it's this, it's this freak, bro. It's, it's so big, it's so tall. Look at it. This is roti tissue, bro. It's... It's wild, bro. But it's too sweet. It's too sweet. And banana leaf. This is banana leaf where they put the rice and they put all the, the you know, um, what do you call these in English? I don't know. Lao. Okay. That's the curries. Okay. Curries means, it doesn't mean curry. It's not a specific dish. Curry just means this. Ah, okay. I don't know how to tell you. <laughs> curry doesn't mean curry. It means curries. Okay. There's a lot of different types of curries. Okay. It's red ones. This is banana leaf. I'm not the biggest fan of banana leaf, but I am the biggest fan of this. It's bitter gourd. It's bitter. And if they kind of like cook it in batter. Ooh, bro, bitter gourd. Big up the bitter gourd. The bitter gourd crew, bro. BGC. Know what I mean? BGC. 7 out of 10. Next, at number 13, we have the char... Char Kway Tiao is good, bro. It's, it's one of the top drawers in Malaysia. However... He's having this in Langkawi. Not the right place to be, to be judging Cha Kui Tiao. Okay. However, he does have the luxury of not being a Muslim, I guess. So the real Cha Kui Tiao, that's, I haven't, I've never tasted it. I'm a Muslim, okay? I wish I could taste it. I, I mean, it's not like I'm strict or nothing. It's just that I just don't do that. I don't do pork. Not be, it's actually not because I'm a Muslim. I just don't want to do it. I'm going to be real. Like I'm not the, the strictest Muslim in the world. I'm just not, bro. I don't care. However, I just don't like pork for some reason. I've eaten it by accident. I did not like it. I've eaten it by accident. Okay. I'm just, I just don't. Uh, the thought of pork is, it's not about being a Muslim. It's just, be, it's just me as a person. Because if you think Muslims care about halal and haram, bro, think again. How many Muslims drink alcohol, bro? It's not about being a Muslim or whatever. It's a personal choice. And I don't like alcohol either. I don't like it. I just don't. I don't want to drink it. I just don't. It's just a personal. It's not because I'm Muslim. Because I decide not to. And even cigarettes. Cigarettes, bro. 
I don't smoke. Cigarettes is, you know, some ulama says it's haram. You think the Muslims care? They don't. It's not about Muslim or not. I just don't smoke. Anyway, that's too deep. I got too deep there. Cha Kwe Tiao, not in Langkawi, bro. He's not going to like it in Langkawi. Oh, Kwe Tiao, which I have. You got to do Penang or KL. There's got to be. Ask, ask the Chinese. If you want to talk about, I, I've tasted Cha Kwe Tiao, which is halal, which is good, bro. I, I, I have. In Pera, in Ipo. Okay. Because there's a lot of Chinese people in Ipo. So I guess the Malays also learn how to cook it. Without the lard, of course. The lard a adds an extra flavor, I guess. But it was good enough. I liked it. Okay. But not in Langkawi. I don't think Langkawi is the place. I had here in Langkawi, but many people told me wasn't really a good representation of Char Kway Tiao. Exactly. So I, of course, will have to try it again. But based on that one, that was a 7 out of 10. At That's a decent score for, for Char Kway Tiao in Langkawi, bro. Number 12, we had really the first controversial dish in my series. It was the Mi, mi Bandung. Mi Bandung. Oh, Mi Bandung is a hard one. The best Mi Bandung I had was by a family member. Okay. Mi Bandung is a hard I'm not, not the biggest fan, but when I tasted that Mi Bandung, I was like, yo. So, also, I don't think Kedah is the place to try Mi Bandung, but he did give it a high score. Mi Bandung, which almost everybody told me was in fact not a Mi, a mi Bandung at all. That's what it was listed as in the restaurant. Some people pointed out that it's... I think Mi Bandung, you have to go... I'm not sure, bro. Maybe somewhere in the south, Joho. That's where you want to get the best Mi Bandung. If I'm not mistaken, to be honest, I don't know. The Kadar style one, uh, I don't know. Either way, I enjoyed it actually, and it was an 8 out of 10, but I will, of course, still have to try the real deal. At number 11, we have the Nyonya. Nyonya Chendol. Chendol, uh, what is. Oh, yeah, by the way, I forgot to show you, Chuck. Wait, tell you, you, you gotta. My friend, my friend. Uh, no, not this one. This is the, the wet one. The wet one is actually quite good. But Cha Kwe Tiao is in the name. It's Cha. It's charred. Okay. But the wet, the wet Cha Kwe Tiao is actually good. It tastes really good. This is what Cha Kwe Tiao is. It is it's such a unique dish. Okay. And Chendol, right? Chendol. This is what Chendol is. It's a dessert. Okay. It's one of my favorite desserts. Chendol. I'm telling you right now. Chendol is out of this world, bro. I'm telling you right now. However, I'm not a big fan of Nyonya Chendol. I prefer Penang style. Mom, it's Indian style. I don't know what. I don't like the Malacca. Malacca is a state, right? In the using the, the Malacca. I don't like the Malacca Chendol. I just don't. I, like, I prefer the Penang Chendol. The Penang Chendol is more milky, you know. It's more, I don't know. It's more creamy. I just prefer that Chendol. So Nyonya Chendol is, I will give it a seven. To be honest. Nyonya Chendol, which I had the other day in KL. Very, very nice. I would absolutely have that again. My first time, I think, really having red beans as a sweet, and I loved it. That was an 8 out of 10. And now getting into the top 10. This is what I had yesterday. What is Hokkien Mi? I've definitely eaten it. Hokkien Mi. But no, you see these Chinese... Oh, Hokkien Mi is good. <laughs> I know it's good. You see these Chinese dishes. If you're like non-Muslim... Just ask the Chinese where to get the best ones. Don't ask the Muslims, okay? We don't know, okay? Hokkien Mi is good, bro. In fact, it was the Hokkien Mi, which again, a lot of people were... But there are versions, halal versions, of course. They're probably not as good as the, the OGs, but there are versions. Prized by because it was like fried noodles on a plate and some people were expecting to see, it, to see a soup. This is apparently what Hokkien Mi is here, not everywhere else. But it was nice and it was an 8 out of 10. At number 9, we've got Hainanese. Hainanese chicken rice is good, bro. If there's Hainanese in the name, it's Hainanese chicken chop, chicken rice. Yeah, look at that. Chicken rice, bro. Hainanese chicken rice is, yeah, it's top tier stuff, okay? It's chicken rice. Eight, 8 out of 10 is fair. But if you if you eat a good one, if you eat a good one, it's a 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed this. It was a very easy to eat, simple dish, and I would absolutely have that again. Nah, if a good chicken rice, you just eat the rice and that's enough. All the flavor is in the rice. I've had it, but it's made by family members, of course. It's not, it's hard to find at a shop, you know. Home cook, yeah, the best is always home cook. Again, 8 out of 10. And now at number 8, Roti Chana. Roti Chana is the best, bro. Come on, it's the best bread in the world. It's a staple, okay. You're not, you're not going to talk ish about Roti Chana, you know. We're going to have to throw hands, okay. It's, it's, it's a classic. Okay. My favorite breakfast, really. It's light. It's easy to consume. It came with yeah. a really tasty uh, fish yes, curry. Sir. So the dal was okay, but whatever. That was fine. It was still. 
Yeah, see, not a lot of people like dal because it's a bit, I don't want to say it's a bit dal. It's not to me. I like dal. I like dal. It's, it's a bit mild. Dal is, what, what is dal? This is dal. This one. It's a bit milder than the, 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 the darker curries. But I like dal. If you put some sambal into the dal, I, I like it. I like it. I like dal. I know it's mild, but I like it. A 9 out of 10. At number 7, we got... Nasi Krabu is top tier, bro. Nasi Krabu is top tier. I'm telling you right now. This is top tier stuff. Okay, this is, I think it's more in the East Coast speciality. Nasi Krabu is top tier, bro. When I was a child, I didn't, I didn't get it. When I was, I, I lived in uh, the East Coast when I was a child. I've eaten Nasi Krabu. I didn't get it because there was way too, there was way too much veggies, bro. But as you get older, as you get older, this is it, bro. There's a lot of taste, a lot of different taste for your taste buds in Nasi Krabu. I've seen white people go to Malaysia and skip KL completely, go straight to Kelantan or Terengganu just to eat nasi krabu, bro. They just spend weeks eating nasi krabu, bro. You can get addicted to it. It's, it's a lot of taste in one dish. Look at it, bro. It's a lot of taste in one dish. It's unique, bro. It's, this is top tier stuff. Okay, so he gave, he gave it a nine. That's fair. This guy is on point so far. I, I can't even, you know, not gonna lie. The Nasi Karabu. You see, that's because he lived here 12 years. So he, he's got, his judgment is, you know, you get me. Everyone told me that the one I got was made with artificial flavoring and didn't have enough sides with it and all that sort of thing. But I really- Yeah, even like he ate like a, like a basic Nasi Karabu, he, he gave it a nine. Imagine if he had the real thing. He really enjoyed it. So, of course, I'm really looking forward to having the real deal at some point. But still, for me, that was a 9, nine. out of 10. At number 6, we got the Laksa. Oh, Laksa Kada. What is a Laksa Kada, bro? What is even? Okay, let's talk about Laksa, okay? It might seem controversial. This is what I think of Laksa. There's all kinds of Laksa. There's Northern Laksa. Laksa, laksa Utara. Laksa Utara. There's Northern Singaporean laksa. Is that even a real thing? There's Penang, Assam laksa. There's all kinds of laksa. Curry laksa. There's all kinds of laksa. Here's my top three laksa. Okay. It's going to be controversial. Number one is laksam. Laksam. Okay. It's controversial, but it's just me. I know people don't. People in Malaysia can be racist. Can be a bit racist against the East Coasters. But I like laksam. You, you're going to have to deal with it. Okay. You're just going to have to deal with it. I like laksam. Look at it. It doesn't even look like the other laksas. But I like it. I just like it. Most people don't. That's your problem. I like it. Okay. It is what it is. I'm going to put it at number one. I know it's controversial. My second is laksa joho. And it's not because I lived in the South for, for a, a big portion of my life. It's not because of that. When I was in the South, I did not eat laksa joho, laksa joho bro. Laksa joho is second to me. In my opinion, it's just, I like the taste. Okay. I like the taste. And no, people don't eat it with their hands. They eat. And third is Lhasa Sarawak. This is going to be a bit controversial. A lot of northerners are going to be pissed off at me. A lot of the West Coasters are going to be pissed off. Lhasa Sarawak. Because I've eaten northern style laksa for most of my life. I mean, I like it. But, you know, as you grow older, you taste all kinds of laksa. You're going to have favorites. Lhasa Sarawak is number three. I don't know what it is, what it is about Lhasa Sarawak. It just tastes so sharp, bro. It tastes so sharp. I like it. I like it. I just, I just actually just started eat, not started eating it. I just ate this for the first time in my life a few years ago, bro. Lhasa Sarawak. It's in my top three. Laksam, Lhasa Joho, which is southern. Lhasa Sarawak is in Sarawak, in Borneo. Okay. So yeah, all the, all the, the northerners are going to be pissed off at me. It's a bit controversial, but it is what it is. But he gave this 9 out of 10. Laksa is still laksa, okay? It's still, unless the only thing that's going to stop you from liking laksa is if you don't like fish. That's it. Kadar, I loved this. Beautiful. I could eat that every single day. It was absolutely delicious. 9 out of 10. Now we're into the top five of my favorite Malaysian dishes so far. At number five, we've got the Siput Sedut. Ah, okay. Siput Sedut is... Snails? I don't know. Lemak chili buddy, you can't go wrong. This is the food of my people. Okay? You can't go wrong. Or lemak chili api, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Okay? It's this. This is what it is. And it comes in all kinds of varieties. There's chicken. There's um egg. There's like duck. 
the uh, the, the traditional one is meat. Uh, cow, what's called beef? Cow beef. So yeah, you can't go wrong with you know masak lemak chili api. Okay, you can't go wrong. It is 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 one of the best food in the world. Top five. Top five dead or alive. I'm telling you right now, this is it, bro. This is food at its peak, bro. This is food at its peak. It's one of those. It's one of the top tier. There's a lot of top tiers here and lemak chili api is one of it. Okay. Like nasi krabu. There's a lot of top tier food here. And yeah, this guy, this guy is tasting all the good ones, bro. All the top tier food. This guy is, you know, is going in, bro. And he's just, it's kind of just, it's still kind of scratching the surface. No, that's what I'm scratching the surface. I'm discovering new Malaysian. I just tasted Lhasa Sarawak a few years ago, bro. So what you thought? Like, I'm telling you. Actually, Paddy, which is the um, water snails. But I don't eat snails, though. The water snails. Yeah. eat snails, so I don't know. What's my favorite form of lemak chili api is probably, I don't know, duck maybe, or maybe beef. I don't know which you sort of suck out. I did mistakenly eat the bit of the snail I wasn't supposed to because I didn't know. What is the bit of the snail you were supposed to eat? What is the shit? I don't know. Is it, did he just eat the whole thing? Like the, 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 the snail, what do you call it? The body, the hard shell. Did he just eat that? What is the part of the snail that you can't eat people? I don't get it. Know any better? Um, and also, I got in a lot of trouble for dunking the nasi into the kua. And <laughs> whoa, whoa, he dunk the rice into the curry, bro. It's wow. It's the other way around, okay? Not the other way around, but you know, I'm learning as I go along. But it was absolutely delicious, and that was a nine out of ten. At number four is the asam pedas ikan. Absolutely Some beautiful, pedas. spicy. Asam pedas. It's, it's, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Not one of my favorites. You know why? Because the best asam pedas I've tasted is by a family member. It's home cooked. So I've never eaten asam pedas at a shop and be impressed by it. So it's a bit hard. But I think, I mean, there's no such thing as asam pedas Singapore, bro. What is this? You, you don't tell me there's no such thing as asam pedas Singapore. There's asam pedas Johor. Bro, what the hell is this? Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. There's two types of asam pedas, okay? There's one which is more spicier and a bit bitter, slightly bitter. And then there's another type, which, which is the southern type, which, um, which is a bit more sweeter and a bit more milder. They're both kind of lit, okay? They're both kind of kind of tasty. But the asam pedas, uh, which is lighter and a bit sweeter, is very hard to find. It's almost like a unicorn. Like, does it even exist? But I remember when I was young, I used to chill at my friend's house and his mom who was a, you know, a southerner, used to cook it. It's asam pedas, but it's sweet and it's very light. So all the southerners, you're going to have to enlighten me. Is this a thing? Does this exist? Or was it just my imagination? I know it exists, but because the mainstream form of asam pedas is the spicy one, you, yeah. So I don't know. Was I imagining things? But asam pedas is good stuff. Good stuff. Fresh fish. I guess this guy likes it because he puts it in his top five. It is with personal preference, okay? I wouldn't put it in my top five, but yeah, I'm not going to be mad if you put it in your top five. I'm not going to be mad. Everything about that dish was just wonderful. I loved it. and that As long as it's not Asam Pada Singapore, because that does not exist. It was a nine out of ten. And now the top three. And at number three, chicken rendang. Yes, that's top tier stuff. Not going to lie. It's top tier stuff. Let's be honest. Okay. Yeah. It's top tier stuff. Okay. But if you go to my hometown, there's a, there's a form of beef rendang, which is crazy, bro. That beef rendang, bro. Only in my hometown. Okay. I'm not going to tell you where it is. It's the chicken rendang. This was superb. And for a few stuff. days at least, was sitting. You, you can't go wrong with rendang. Okay. At the top as my favorite dish so far. Absolutely perfectly delicious a 10 out of 10 but now at number two we've got the nasi kanda nasi kanda he gave it a 10 yeah the nasi kanda is, is yeah i like nasi kanda yeah not gonna lie i like it i do but nasi kanda you gotta get it from the penang ones even if you even kl has some good nasi kanda but you gotta get it from the penang style ones okay because that's the form of nasi kanda that's gonna give you much pleasure is all i'm saying it's unhealthy as hell, bro. It's mad rich <laughs> in like oils and stuff. And it's sweet too. But that's where the pleasure comes from. 
It's not for everyday eating because I've eaten nasi kanda in Ipo. It just tastes healthy. <laughs> it just like this does not give me pleasure, but it tastes like something you can eat every day. It tastes healthy. It's good for your stomach. But no, the nasi kanda that we're talking about is the Penang ones where there's like all kinds of curries mixed together, bro. I'm telling you right now, it's top tier stuff. It's the top tier stuff. Some people don't like mixing things well. It, it, in theory, it's like if you're like you've got OCD or, or whatever or ADHD, it might seem a bit too much. But in practice, bro, when you mix stuff up, it creates a whole new dimension of flavor, bro. It is what it is. I don't even eat nasi kanda that often. Not even once a year. But I'm not going to lie. It's top tier stuff. Okay, it's top tier stuff. The, f- the mixing of the curries create a whole new dimension of flavor, bro. I didn't even, the first time I had nasi kanda, it wasn't even in Penang or whatever. It was just some random mama, bro. The guy just mixed the curries and I was like, holy F. I never like mixing stuff. But it just happened and I'm like, oh, I was just blown away. It is what it is. Uh, this pipped the uh, chicken rendang to the top spot for a little while. It was absolutely beautiful. Such a variety of things on the Yeah, pl- I'm not mad at this guy's top 16, bro. There was spicy, there was barbecue chicken, there was sweetness in the gravy that was put on. Um, Ayam Bawang. Yo, Ayam Bawang is the one, bro. On a sikanda, for me at least. I don't do the whole squid, whatever, it's too much, right? And it's too expensive too. But I am, I am Bawang is onion chicken. On it was just, but taking the top spot, What's number my one? number one so far is the Nasi Dagang Ikan. Yeah, okay, okay. I see it. He's, he's a Nasi Dagang kind of guy. I, I see it. I see it. Nasi, I, I see it. I can see it. This is top tier stuff. This is, again, this is some East Coast stuff. You see, like, there are some people that have the East Coast taste buds. Even white people, sometimes they have the East Coast taste buds. Like Mark Wiens, for example, has an East Coast taste bud. I know for sure, bro. Uh, Nasi Dagang is from the East Coast. Terengganu, right? If I'm not mistaken. Terengganu in Kelantan is East Coast. And even in uh, Pahang. Yeah, it's top tier stuff. Okay. I- I'm a Nasi Dagang kind of guy myself. However, Nasi Krabu is starting to also kind of endear itself to me. But Nasi Dagang is, is, is special tasting. It's kind of like the, this kind of, is a unique tasting rice. I don't know how to explain the taste. It's kind of like, yo, it's sticky a bit. Stick, it's almost sticky rice, but it's not. It's, I don't know if it's brown rice. I don't know. Special kind of rice. And the, the curry is kind of sweet, sweet, bit sweet. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a specific kind of taste. that You, you got to taste it. I can't explain it to you. Okay. The same with nasi. It doesn't have, nasi krabu has a lot of taste mixed in together. Nasi dagang is a bit simpler. So it's up, it's up to you. What do you like? Okay. What do you prefer? Right. And I, I'm not going to be mad if you go with either. Okay. I'm not mad at this guy's list at all. Absolutely nothing that I would have changed about this dish. It was pure perfection. A beautifully cooked piece of tuna, a lovely uh, sauce. With- oh yeah, it comes with tuna, sometimes chicken. Uh, I mistakenly called it a curry in my video and it was pointed out that it's not a curry. Um, and the sambals that came with it, just, it was... Uh, you see, when you say it's not a curry, curry does not mean a specific type of curry. Curry could just, I don't know. I actually don't know what a curry is, but... A curry could be a multitude of different things, okay? Like, this, you could just call this a curry. Of course, it's, it's not curry in the sense that what you call curry. But curry as a language just means, let, let's just explore this. Curry meaning, what does it mean? Uh, this doesn't explain it. Yeah, it means sauce or gravy. You see, that's, that's, that's the real meaning of curry. Because if you go to India, there's not going to be one type of curry. There's going to there's gonna be a curry that tastes like sambal, which is spicy. And it's colored red. And then there's going to be the traditional curry that you know is curry. But curry does not mean curry, if I'm being honest. It means, uh, you know, Malaysia, you might call it kua or lao. Or, you know, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of words for it. Sublime. I absolutely loved it. And to me, this would be a very, very hard dish to beat. An absolute 10 out of 10. Yeah, he's and- a nasi dagang kind of guy. I'm not mad at that. I'm not. Of course. And he didn't even put nasi lemak in the list, bro. Because there's so much food to try in this country, bro. I'm a Malaysian. I haven't tried. I haven't, I've only scratched the surface. 
my number one. So there you have it, my full ranking so far. But of course, I will be continuing today. So what should I eat today? Where should I go? What sort of cuisine should I have? What could possibly- And this was a few months ago, bro. Maybe you should try cake squeam way. Yeah? Curry pop, all that, all that good-ish. How on earth you love laksa? It is very fresh, fishy broth. I do not think Masale will love this except you. Yo, this is wild, bro. You know, like British people, this is what I learned. British people don't like fish. You are literally an island, my friend. You are surrounded by sea. Your national dish, well, before it was curry now, used to be fish and chips. But a lot of British people don't like fish. Like, so they won't like laksa. Very fishy. But this guy loved it. She puts a little lemak chili padi. This guy, yeah. Look at it. Miko, look, look at it. This guy's nasi dagang ikan. Lemang dalcha kambing. Holy ish, bro. Nasi lemak, nasi lemak is a classic, just like roti canai. Mi kolo, bro. I know it's controversial, but I like it. Some people are racist, they don't like it. Mi kicap, I just, dis I just tasted this. Bro, for the first time in my life, like a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago, I tasted mi kicap kuakari, bro. It's a vibe. I just, I just knew about that this exists a week ago. About a week ago. This, this is wild, bro. Yeah, mi bandung is joho. So this guy live in Kuching. I think he's lived here 12 years. So he's practically, I mean, yeah. Especially when you live in Sarawak, bro. He's not some guy who lives in Monkeyara. He lives in Kuching. Look at him, bro. He does look at him, bro. Look at him, bro. He doesn't live in Monkeyara. He's lived here for 12 years. I don't know why. Maybe he married a Malaysian. A nasi dagang mackerel. Okay. Mackerel is Tengiri. I did not know that. Come to Kuching for Blasa Sarawak. Roja Ayam. What is Roja Ayam? I like, yo, Roja. There's another one. This is one of my favorite. Mikolo. Ah, I like Mikolo, bro. I'm not going to lie. I know it's controversial. I know a lot of people don't like Sarawak dish, dishes. A lot of you, you know, Peninsula Malaysians don't like Mikolo. I like it. Okay. It is what it is. Okay. Beyond Blachan, I don't know what that is. Maybe one day. I it sounds good. I'm not going to lie. I've tasted nasi goreng Blachan. It's very good, bro. So Beyond Blachan might be lit. Surprised that nasi lemak. Oh, he had he hadn't tried it. Yo, this guy lives in Sarawak, bro. He has a try to see Lamar. That's wild. Because he's not in KL, I guess. I'm enjoying this this discourse, bro. Or maybe I'll start a vlog channel. I might, I might. Just documenting the foods that I've tried. He, uh, this guy prefers the beef variant of Chidagang. I see it. Cha Kui Tiao, you must go Penang. Yes. Ask the Chinese. You should try Nasi Dagang Kelantan, which is different. Okay, I don't know the difference. Ipo is, you know, another one. Like you can, you can get all kinds of food in Ipo. Bakut, uh, I've never tasted that. I think it's haram, bro. Yeah, but it sounds good. Whereas Nasi Lemak, people are me, bro, like Nasi Lemak is a classic. I, I get it. But you don't have to put it in your top 20 even. That's how deep the Malaysian food iceberg is, bro. Nasi Dagang Ikan, yeah. Yo, roti tissue is not the one, bro. It's too sweet. There's a lot of other other rotis like roti tilo, right? Come to nasi biryani, yo nasi biryani, yo nasi biryani. Mi bandung tetel, what is that? Lontong, lontong is another one. I think Indonesian soto. This is very mad south. Rojak manis, okay. I'm just enjoying reading the comments, bro. Chakui tell in Langkawi, yeah, I told you Langkawi. I don't know what food is synonymous with Langkawi, but it's not chakui tell. Original Mi Bandung from Mua Joho. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The, 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 the relative that cooked the good Mi Bandung was from Mua Joho, by the way. Kuala Kangsa Perak Tempoya. Bro, Tempoya is an acquired taste. I'm not a big fan. I know Mark Wiens, the biggest food YouTuber in the world, is a big fan of Tempoya. I prefer Budu. Budu is a, yeah, Kelantan, East Coast kind of stuff. So is Tempoya, but I think it's from Pahang. I don't know. But it's, uh, I'm more of a Budu kind of guy. Yo, look at this, bro. Yeah, laksa got many variants. Variants. Oh, how do you pronounce this word? Laksa keda, laksa. I thought I gave you my top three, right? Roti chana in pasigi. Even roti chana has different types of. Pasigi is the square one. If you ask for that, it, it tastes a bit different from the regular roti chana. Yo, sate. That's another one. Sate, there's all kinds of sate. You know? Yo, this is. Yeah, we, we, we don't want we don't want to go deeper. Cause we go, we're going to start going deep into the iceberg you know i need to start a channel just just for this kind of content because i did sometimes i document whatever i eat you know whatever food that i explore i do document it i just don't put it anywhere i just put it in my phone right and maybe i'll start a channel if i get 100k i'll start a, this kind of channel 
this kind of content. Uh, if you, if you want to know about Malaysian food, yo, it's a whole genre on YouTube, Malaysian food, or like social media in general. But I've gone too deep. This is, I've gone too deep. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's all for now. Peace. Yup, 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 yup.